Twin flames. So your twin flame um, could be a usher fan. Loving everything you do. Ooh, girl, look at you. Oh, child. So somebody here. So your twin flame coming in this week. This message starts August 26th. Okay, this is a timeless message. All right, guys. So what's coming in this week for you is this person loves everything you do. And somebody here is like when you see, when they see you, it's like, there goes my baby. That's the Usher song. You might need to look it up. There goes my baby. Mm. So you give this person chills and shit like that. Twin flames. Oh my god. Somebody here is blushes. Oh. So you make this person shy. You make your twin shy. Oh, child. Let's see what's coming in this week for you guys. All right. These are general messages. All right. So take this for you. Simply leave what it's not. Let's get through your announcements. Um, so we are open for personal readings. All right, guys. I am just a little bit behind um, with the school thing. Going back. Had to get some school shopping done. All right, guys. So just keep, um, you know, a little owl. Your email will be getting back to you, uh, especially this week. All right, guys. They are Sunday. They are Zoom. The camera is option. No on Zoom. Okay, there's Zoom reading. Cash app payments. Make sure that you're also subscribed to your area's only placements. Love, Tarot, honey. Welcome in to the uh, Cross Watchers. If you are cross watching for areas, if you have any karmic energy attachments to your energy, make sure you're getting all your tea. If you don't know already, I am your Shaman Empress, a.k.a. the Shaman Hummingbird here for you guys. Twin Flames. I'll be able to also call all the energies and signs I see, imitate anything in your energy. Movies, songs, it doesn't even matter. That's how you will know when I am talking to you, my honey bears. All right, let's see what is going on. Loving everything you do. Ooh, girl, look at you. Damn, we got Usher Raymond in the house, baby. Mm, I just heard Raymond. Someone here, name could be Raymond or Raymond. All right, whatever's happening here can be physically and or spiritually with you and your twin flame. Okay. Oh, this person's in love with you. They love everything about you. Yep, the page of cups. And it's like, oh my gosh. They, so now they, they might want to tell you this. They're ready to share this. This is someone here that's the king of cups, but they're only going to show you a page. But they really, really, really have more feelings than they're showing you. That's what's going on, honey. This twin flame. Oh, three of wands. There's been distance between you and a twin flame here, but they are waiting for like an opportunity for things to change. Um, this is also to good to make a move with the one so things can change so the wheel can spin it's time to get the wheel spinning again between you and your twin flame scorpion libra and aries energy what else is popping up for the twin flames this week two of swords they go back and forth in their head about it this person could have doubts two cards is popping out for you here ten of pentacles and the six of swords so this person does feel the spiritual connection um this person knows who their twin flame or they know that you guys are twin flames that is also something i do like to look at through the twin flame readings they hang man and they stuck on your ass okay um they are somebody here is like if this person could have had like epiphany or a realization but it could have came when you guys were at a distance or maybe I wasn't talking or seeing each other or something like that. It got them hung up. It got them kind of stuck in the past. Um, some Something is hung up here. For the last three months, this person could have been thinking about like reaching out to you, but something stuck. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, two cards again. The strength in the two of ones. They're trying to be strong enough to make a decision. We're going to need to see what that is. So a decision has this person hung up. They're trying to get their strength. This could be courage because maybe they have to make some moves and some decisions on how to come towards you here. How to deal with this situation. How to deal with you. Leo energy. Strong areas. Libra. Yeah, to make this new um, offer. This is a new cycle coming in. So this is a new cycle coming in for you guys. For the Twin Flames this week. What else? Yes. Okay. They miss you. I do feel like this could have been somewhat here that maybe at one point in time they thought they didn't want the Twin Flame journey. Maybe they could have felt like they could have found something a little better than what the Twin Flame journey was offering them at the time between you and them. But it's like that they want you. Yeah, they do. 
Now, they, this is someone that want to give you something, but they do have another option here, or they still kind of, yeah, they got somebody waiting on them. They do think about you, but they were talking to somebody when you guys were separated. We got the king and the queen of cups. You guys can have strong water placements, water benders, Cancer and Piscean or Scorpion. So you guys connect to your moon sign. Whoever group of twin flames I'm speaking for this week. Yeah, honey. Mm. But they've been coming to, to you in the spirit. So this person has been coming to you in your dreams and shit like that. They could be also astro traveling to you. Um, someone here is touching. They When they astro travel to you, they touch you. So you are feeling this person's energy. They might even feel you. Mm, child. Mm. <laughs> I know y'all can't stand me, honey. I can't stand myself, child. Okay, back to this. Um, this is a new cycle. Earthbenders. I'm talking to water and earthbender twin flames that connect through their moon sign. This week. That's who they got me speaking for. Um... So, when y'all were distant, they could have gotten into another situation or maybe they started talking to somebody else. But it's like they still have you on their mind and they still want to connect with this with you. I feel like they were disappointed in this other connection as well. It's also something that I'm getting. They're not going to tell you about this. Mm -mm. And to be honest with you, even if this doesn't take off fast yeah they're not they're not going to stick around for this other person it's like that cycle is going to end um whether they connect with you right away or not so that's not even worth wasting our time looking into um but we're going to take a look at what got this person hung up what's like the stance they're, you're having a standstill this is like western uh roulette between you and your twin flame. I don't know if this is like who the, is going to make the first move, you or me, or some shit like Bad. that. I don't know. Bad. Like something to that effect is here. So we have uh, two, six, three, two, two, six, four, two. We're going to take a look and see um, which um, I'm going to meditate and see which. Angel number we're going to do together on a channel. And we're going to do some clarifications on that. Okay, guys. Twin Flames. Angel number 2342 is what we're going to do together on the channel. So this angel number is a powerful, meaningful message from the spiritual realm. Signaling to you that your life is currently in alignment. You guys are in, I told you, you're in celestial alignment with your Twin Flame. And I feel like so now they're at this point where it's like no one they, no one compares to that. So it's making a decision. Who are they going to entertain? And I feel like you're, it's, it, this twin flame energy is winning. So they want to connect with you. They're twin flame. That's what this person is, is choosing. That's what they're starting to see. But they do go back and forth in their head. This could be, someone here could be scared of commitment. Maybe they're scared to, you know, open up. All this lovey-dovey shit, you know. <laughs> Two of Swords and King of Cups. You know, I love you. Oh, you're my twin flame. You know, all that stuff kind of could have them a little, you know, outside of what they're used to. Oh, can I get a couple cards if I can, Holy Spirit? Can you give me the Two of Swords? They do go back and forth about, you know, if they want to offer, you know, offer you something or something like that. Somebody, I feel like this person wants you to come towards them. But your ancestors and your spirit team is pushing you guys. Work, you have been working on getting this together. Let's look at that real quick. Also, um, like something healing. If you guys are finally choosing each other, it brings healing to the bloodline between you. Um, and um, it does bring in spiritual inheritance. Okay, abundantness um, or something for you and them. Okay, it's like when you guys start connecting, you're going to notice your money increase. This is also forgiving. Your twin flame could want to apologize. Oh, we got fierceness, Wolverine in reverse. See, you make them nervous though. Yeah, 
We have seahorses. Oh, yeah, in reverse. Okay, now for some of you guys, your twin flame was with somebody they considered to be a, a soulmate. And that's what I was kind of picking up on. Okay, or at one point in time they did. But they're like, not good. So you know that. Um, oh, and we have, I told you, stability. Them little words you might not see, that sea turtle. So it's like, um, because they could have had to learn a lesson through a soulmate. And it's like they learned that lesson or whatever that was. And now they are moving on. Yeah, ground this. See, and whatever this person is doing, grounding work that they attend to, is helping them make this decision. Responsibility. Yeah, Mercat. Yeah. So this is someone here that is like, maybe it, it could have taught them something about um, responsibility, especially when it comes to love, which is very important. Okay. Um, so they're like more responsible with the way they think, the way they feel, especially when it comes to their cup, uh, like with their love. Let's see what got them hung up though. Okay. What's the hangman? I, I want to see one more thing on a six of swords. Then we're going towards the hangman. What's the six of swords? Ooh. Show me the six of swords, please. Almighty, beautiful universe, and holy spirits. What's the six of swords? Damn. The six of wands and the two of cups. Uh, yeah. See, for some of you guys, you are... The ancestors are leading you guys on. The ancestors has their hand in this. Yep, they are supporting you guys. They just confirmed that for me. And it is slowly working. The Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Um, There is still some juggling being done. Now, some things the ancestors are getting through to you guys and other things, it's not happening. Yep, the Ace of Swords. But the Swords, the truth, the truth... This person knows who you guys are. Yep, the Five of Swords. They have already figured that out and this is also somebody here um to be honest with you it's like they could have tried to sneak their way in or try to pull a mental move on you this could be a mental smell but the ancestors block it that's why they keep juggling back and forth yeah nine of ones because maybe they can't sneak on you like they want to or like you know they do what other your swim flame can be a little sneaky oh yeah the three of pentacles yep yeah Now, this is just also somebody here that is a little bit nervous about, the, uh, like, fighting with you or something like that. So, you know that. Yeah, Three of Cups. About what, you know, about the past or something like that. That could have happened between you guys. What's the hangman? What's the hangman? Oh, shit. The Ten of Wands, Burtons, and the Nine of Cups. Mmm. And the King of Wands. This person got a sex addiction. This person is scared of commitment. I mean, they could be, your twin flame could be somebody that is more on a free spirit kind of energy um, where they're they're free. And it's like, uh, that could be something that is a thing that they're thinking about. It's like, they're, they're scared of commitment. Yep, here go the king and the queen of cups. The six of swords. They know going, someone here feels like to be with their twin flame, they know it, it, it revolves a higher standard of commitment and things they have to give to you. They already know that their ancestors, y'all do share certain ancestors, has already told them that. That's so that's said. what they gamble on if they will be able to do it. They ain't trying to get, yeah, three of swords in reverse. I'm sorry, no, that's in an upright three of swords. Yeah. Because they don't want to end up broken hearted and they don't want to break your heart. Yep, the four of pentacles. I do feel like your twin flame here is like, it's like they're ready to connect with you, but maybe they're not ready at this moment. It's like they want to connect, but they're not ready to connect. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your twin flame wants to connect, but they're not ready to um, connect. Give me something else on a um, hangman. They're frustrated. Um, they, it's like everything is on pause and they're frustrated. I feel like this is someone here that they, they, it's hard for them to make a decision. They're trying so hard to the strength card and the two of ones. I mean, they are trying really hard, but it's like, it's, um, they're intimidated is what they just said. Give me something else here. They hold their cut back though. What's going on with the hangman? Give me something else on the hangman. Ooh. A grip in reverse. They don't have a grip on herself. 
Now, I'm telling you, this is also someone here that don't want to be tied down. It's commitment. The kind of relationship that you guys have, twin flames, are they really ready for that? This person might also like their freedom, hooking up with people and shit. That might be a problem. Yeah. Because they will have to compromise. Sorry, guys. Spiritual hiccups. You know, when I channel energy, I hiccup. Woo, child. I'm so sorry. So, um, there might... It's like... Y'all might have to compromise or they might try to get you to compromise. Yeah, see. Mm -mm. This, this is also somebody here that kind of wants to take you out on a trip or y'all go somewhere. They do think about that and just you guys like connecting and maybe them opening up what they really want. See, because they, they're really frustrated. It's like they want this, but they're maybe they're not ready for it. That's exactly what I'm getting here. What's the Four of Cups? They could know that you're disappointed or something. Maybe they're also disappointed. This is someone here that's been disappointed. Okay, and it's like, damn, if I get all into this, if I get all my feelings into this and get disappointed. Okay, and Twin Flame Pain is, oh. Okay, what's the Four of Cups? Oh, damn. We got the King, yep, the King of Cups. They don't want to be disappointed. Eight of Cups. I have to walk away three of swords. If this if this is why this person don't want to make a wrong move because it's true love. Three of swords, the eight of cups, and the king of cups. Your person's pulling a king of cups energy. It's like if they fuck this up, it will be fucked up for good. This could be someone here that is like, damn, if I fuck this up, I'll never be able to come back. It's like they want things to almost be perfect, which there really is no such thing, you know. Um, yep, six of cups. This is what they've been thinking about for a while. Um, yep, Seven of Swords. Damn. And the Seven of Pentacles. They've been, I told you, they've been thinking about this for some while, for some time. They had that from you? Yeah, they do. That's the Three of Wands. That's why they've been so distant. So that for some of you guys, that's why you're not seeing your Twin Flame yet? Give me something else on the Three of Wands. What's the Three of Wands? Thank you. Arius Energy, the Nine of Swords. Honey, they scared, honey. That's what she said. I know they ain't scary. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they scared to death. They don't want to be hurt. They don't want to break your heart. And if they fuck this up, they feel like they'll lose you forever. So y'all guys could have been through a lot. And now a new cycle. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Opens up. They know you are innocent. You are pure. There's something very innocent and pure about you. Yeah, and that's all they think about. What they're like investing in this. What's coming out of it? What's the offer? What do they want to offer you? This person knows they owe you an apology. What's the Ace of Pentacles? This is also someone here that is scared that somebody new is going to offer you something. Like if they fuck up so bad, you'll close down and open yourself up to somebody new. The Two of Swords. Yep, that was it. So they'll keep going back and forth on what they want to offer you. Yeah, they don't want to fight anymore. So if you had a like a, a fight or a, a little spat, they're done with that. Yep, the Knight of Cups in reverse. They don't like the way it makes them feel. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Maybe this is something they tried to be sneaky in, and now, oh, they got stuck in. Look on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, because something here could have been toxic. Show me something else on that offer. Show me something else on the offer here. What's that? So that's what's coming in this week. I mean, look at this. Damn, I'm good. Oh my gosh, Twin Flames, two or more people discussing and planning. So they might be discussing a situation with somebody else, this Twin Flame connection. Damn, y'all. Um, About helping them on what they should offer and what they should do. I just heard you can't be a player forever, man. So whoever it is, this is happening now. So whoever's giving them this discussion and saying this, yeah, single. Like, you just going to be single forever? I can't make this said. shit up. It's like, like, why not? You you got a person out there? Why? Like, you're not going to experience love? This is real love. You don't want that? You don't want to experience that? It's not going to wait on you forever, man. You, man, you got to make a choice. Some shit like that. What's the page of cups? What's the page of cups? 
They thinking about texting you. They owe you an apology. Yep, about a lesson they learned. Your twin flame has learned a lesson. This could be also was um, given an opportunity, like a door could have opened for the ancestors to, you know, push this person, work with this person with you. What's coming out of there? Children in reverse. There, there was a child that wasn't theirs. Maybe that's what. Oh, God. Damn! Yes, they was paying for child support for a child that wasn't theirs. This person learned a karmic lesson by Jezebel that wanted to retaliate against them. Or this was something they did. Something was similar that came out. Was that on your other channel, the Aries Only Placements? Some of you guys, um, you could be subscribed to both. What both of you guys are channels. But yeah. So they, maybe they walked, that's why they played around with this twin flame journey. Come to find out the child wasn't theirs, but they were taking care of it. They could have went through child support. Yep. And they have, uh, uh, um, the, the ancestors could have helped with this too. Somebody here got a, I told you, yep, they did. Somebody here got a DNA test from the courts and realization came in. Damn, and that's what they got to apologize to you about? Oh my gosh. And this is what's making them want to come towards you because they've been through something fucking terrible. And this is a karmic that wanted to get back with your person that they played you for. Or they could have played around with this journey about. And that's what they owe you an apology. This could be somebody that don't know how to owe you an apology. Wow. The Page of Cups is... Um, is also, um, a, yeah, a child. This could be a, um, yeah, the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. Why didn't I see that earlier? This could be a little girl. Damn. Mm. Child, I, mm. I, I'm, I'm like you. The tea is hot right now. Damn. That's what she said. Shake this tea, honey. Wow. So that was the hang up. That's what this was all about. So this is somebody here that is like going through shit and they're, they're talking to somebody. It's like, look, man, you out here, you dating or look, girl, you out here, you dating. You got with this person. You know, you did you that person wasn't even loyal. You've been through all this shit. And you got a twin flame. You got real love. You better take it. Somebody here is telling somebody that they need to take this with you. Give you this cup. Give you this apology because it's worth it. After what they've been through with a karmic or a Jezebel that wanted retaliation over them. It's like somebody here is telling them, I don't see why you're not taking Do you have any other, I don't see like any other value in your life. All, but clearly, the twin flame, that's your fucking person. Why aren't you with... That's love. This bitch wasn't love or this man wasn't love. They was trying to use you or they just... Your person could be a good... Your twin flame could be a good parent. So, they wanted your twin flame because they're a good parent, a good role model. They might even look at how they raise their other kids. And they almost sabotaged that. I mean, they almost sabotaged this journey with you with that. And they're being told about it. Say it three times, I don't care. So they could have had to tell this karmic energy three times about after they found out, maybe they shut this person down, no shade to the child, but maybe this person just was like, look, I don't give a fuck. Yep, spread the love, because now they want love. And that's where you come in. It's like, I'm choosing my twin. Yeah, get some fresh air, sleep on it. And this is someone here that is like, you know, there's, they could be really, really contemplating, really, you know, sleeping on things, trying to make a decision. And this is someone here that's like, look, you know, what happened? And they're hoping that you're not taking it so personal anymore, even though I think it's like highly justified if you do. But they're hoping that you can like, accept this apology. Okay, let's get a written message from this person. Damn, it hurts so much. And see, that's what they found out. Life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing, and they miss your light through this situation. This Jezebel spirit had this person really going. They keep saying Jezebel, and that's what they realized. Emotions are overwhelming me. This person here is overwhelmed with emotions. What's the written messages here? Mm. Why do I deserve someone like you? It's like, damn. 
Why am I a twin flame? Why do I deserve to um, to be in a connection like this? But you did trigger this person. Um, this is someone here that will twin flame trigger each other. So that's another confirmation that y'all real fucking twin flames. Twin flames. You could have triggered them to also see certain things or something like that. They can't um, express yourself. It's, they're nervous. I'm stuck in visions of us together. They can't stop thinking about you. Yeah. All right, let's get some love oracle messages between um, you guys. What's the oracles between you guys? Let's see. All right, show me the oracles here. Oh, goodness. The last laugh. For some of you guys, so some of you guys, it's like you got the last laugh in a situation. If you're, did your twin flame try to play you with this karmic energy? Yep, they did. Mind game by playing mental spells with you. And this is what the fuck happened? What a karmic. This is the karmic card. Yeah, I can't make this up. What she said. You're getting the last laugh. In this karmic situation, they thought they was going to play you in. Or maybe they played yourself and you get the last laugh. Because they thought they... Child, this karmic run, ran a circle around your twin flame. Guilty as charged. And this person is guilty. They could have tried to put this person in jail. Behind child support. Behind a baby that ain't even fucking there. You got to be fucking kidding me. Yup. And that's what made them go through an ego death. Period. Child bye. I can't believe that one, but shit, a karmic is what a karmic does. Mm, so you're getting a last laugh behind a karmic situation, basically. Some of you guys might have known about it, or maybe you knew about your twin flame um, in a situation like this. Something, this all could have been eclipsed out in April. Or when this energy started coming in, when things could have started changing. We got E. Yeah, someone here is a Sigma male or female. That is you. You guys are very spiritual, very good. On Yeah, this person is a Sigma. So they're very good. They could know about energy. They could be an empath, um, very in tune um, um, with, like, alchemy. They could, they could be spiritual. Y'all could be a set of spiritual twin flames. We got the fourth choir. Yeah, spreading God's love. So the fourth choir could, is also connecting with you guys, trying to get things in order. We got N, and we have J. Someone here could be from New Jersey, and we have Y. Yep. Or New York. Mm. Let's get some oracles. Your twin flame could wear an afro. Tell me this. Damn, you're getting a last laugh, though, because, yeah, now they're insecure about y'all's companionship. Look at this. Hold on, let me grab this out. This is why, though. Because they fell victim. Yup. And they and see vulnerability and abandonment is here. You see how that came out? And so they were, they opened yourself up to this karmic energy and, and, it, and they were abandoned in the situation. Also, that child thing really could have got to this person wisdom, but they know everything. They know everything about the Jezebel and about you guys is uh, like the truth about the connections. Damn. Hmm. Okay. What's the seven planets? What's going on? What's the seven planets? Suns and planets here. They could be a little embarrassed because they had to go through this ego death. I know this person, they try to act cocky, and this is what turned out, child. They fell flat on their face. That's what she said. They could be embarrassed and ashamed. And now you get the last laugh. You you are Venus to this person. Think they, they've been thinking a lot about you. And when they think it's hot and cold. Um, this is someone here that went through a death change. Yeah, honey, they've been trying to get their strength. Scorpion Leo energy. Yeah, man. About this um, twin flame, Jupiter. 
Damn. Twin flame marriage, twin flame union. We got strength. Yeah, because you're their Venus. And they know this. So these are a group of twin flames that connect to the to their y'all's Venus. This is like real like love. And we have to source energy. You can have to source in your like Jupiter, Scorpion. Or in your eighth house. In your Venus, Cancerian. Yeah, confrontation. They have to confront you. Yeah, they already expect this. Maybe there's some things that still need to be cleared up. But it's like you get the last laugh. I do also feel like because you're going to get the last laugh, it's like it irritates them and it could also make them like, you know, kind of come slow towards you. It's like they're hesitant because they already know they got to face this with you. That's why they, they already know they got to apologize. Try to make you look stupid, but they end up being the one that look dumb. That's exactly what happened. That's what she it said. It happens. All right, we're going to shut it down right here, Twin Flames. I love you all. I hope this helped you out in more than one way. If I resonate with you in any way, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that bell. Hit all that taps you in, and you'll be notified when your messages are ready for you guys. Stay dope. I'll catch you in your next video upload. I'll share your name on.